Yo, what is going on you D-League type people? It is Sock here, back with another week for the Pick'em crew, and Polly is currently on a plane traveling from the United States to Australia to move, so I have a familiar face back to help me this week, and he can introduce himself. Ah, where am I? I've been, I've been abducted again. Ah, why are you here? Why am I here? Hey guys, uh, it's me. Uh, so, I have Tom with me in front of the week, as I like, explained, Polly is currently moving, so Tom was kind enough to help me step in. I was so, taken. hey, there's a difference. I asked. I didn't just take like last time. That sounds aggressive. <laughs> so, going over last week's games, a lot of correct picks and a lot of interesting games. Uh, something that I noticed right away was definitely the Durham Dreadagons versus the Carolina Pantherians. Techno's first game, and he almost comes in and upsets one of the best coaches in the league. That set him off on a good foot for my eyes. If you guys listen to the power rankings, you'll notice that that was one of the, the biggest things that surprised me, like you just said, with this past week. Um, the Pantherians going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, almost giving uh, Leo his second L of the season, which would have made the playoff race that much more interesting. But despite that, we do see that this week probably boasted the least amount of losses in terms of... Uh, incorrect pick so that's kind of cool only one incorrect lock being um from mio but besides that you know not not a bad week also mio what are you doing <laughs> mio is just going all out and trying to make up as much ground as he can from what it looks like uh but i'm still on top so uh yeah just how tom likes it nah. all right yeah, 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 <laughs> so you're right, you're going right, you're right. into Going into this week's picks for the fan discord this week you guys are picking the Detroit Butterfreeze coached by Iron Flash Gaming aka Zazzo You guys are locking the Durham Dreadagons coached by Six Foot Hacks You guys are also picking the Exeter Chief Electivars coached by Melantosh You guys are also picking Greg and his Los Angeles Clefable You guys are picking Danza and his Los Angeles Needle King And then you guys are also picking Techno and his Carolina Pantherians Still not used to saying that That's bold 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 stances speaking of bold a lot of the same picks for the first couple matches until we get to the middle of them that's when it starts getting wishy-washy we'll say now going into our first matchup of the week we do have the baltimore oreos versus the detroit butterfreeze you're the good friend Choi cj versus iron flash gaming aka zazo now cj raiku does some decent work against zazo's team as long as their names aren't crocodile or blissey physically defensive celebi also is a really nice bring this week from Mawile not packing fire coverage and really helps check Garchomp. Now on Zazo's side of the turn, Zazo has time work back to Oras where Smogbird is actually good for once and I see it doing fantastic work against CJ. The only thing it needs gone is Mega Latios so and can just click buttons for a little bit. Again with me coming in this week just to fill in, I'm not going to talk as much about the quote unquote matchups with mons that may or may not come, I'm going to talk about the propensity and the uh, potential for the coach to win or the necessity to win. In this case, Zazo needs this win in order to maintain his position in the playoff race, or at least in his seating, because I think either he's in, in prime position to get that second uh, buy spot or uh, in position to be the third or the fourth seed. Uh, and also, Zazo is more likely to make the better plays, uh, to make the hard reads, or make that one read that'll win in the game. Versus CJ, we only saw that uh, in his game against um, against Randy way back in, I think, week four at this point. But haven't so, uh, seen that as much, and he almost caught an L to the uh, the Infernapes and, and Aaron. So, you know what? Not really feeling uh, CJ until it's more of a baby matchup, and this is not one of them. So, uh, I'm going to pick... Uh, the Butterfreeze, as well as Aster and Bird, are going to be locking the Butterfreeze against uh, CJ. Alrighty. And going into our next game here, we do have the Durham Dreadagons coached by Six Foot Trash versus the Calgary Flame Wheels coached by Deebs. Now, Leo, your best lander T answer is hoping he isn't Darkinium Z for Cresselia. Whimsicott is a pretty nice answer to Lando as well, but it doesn't fight in Pokemon like Megazard X. It fights in Togekiss, it fights in Nihilego, it fights in Sneasel. Now, Deep, like I just said, this matchup really does depend on how well you can play Lando T and exploit his crazy crown weaknesses and see if you can set up for a win mid to late game. 
Yeah, it seems like we're all on the boat for Leo winning this one. Deebs has kind of been on a freezing streak. He was hot in the beginning. He went hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. And at this point now, it's just sort of... He's taking the train to uh, L City where he's uh, making his home. So, myself, as well as the Fantasy Court, is going to be locking Leo for obvious reasons. Leo's on fire. Leo is pretty much the coach to beat in terms of this D-League season. I fully believe that he will be the one making it or at least winning the finals this year and uh yeah his team and his pressure offensively is unmatched so i'm gonna lock him and i pretty much have no other reason besides that to ensure that uh, i think he's going to win going into the next one we have the exeter chief electiviers versus the calgary infernapes this one like you had said earlier has been pretty split we have about a 5-3 split between the two uh Choices, obviously, with three people picking uh, the Infernapes and five going for the Electivires. I think that Mellon needs this win because at this point in the season, we have about five coaches vying for the final fifth and sixth playoff seed. Specifically, Mellon is at the point where it's make or break. This week and next week against Randy are probably going to be two of his biggest matches of the season. Now, Aaron can play spoiler, and there are there are potential situations where he will come in and he could possibly catch a W against a coach who may not be able to afford taking an L on that specific week now we're coming to the closing here. But I think Melantosh has the, the potential to, to win here. I just my only concern is uh, does he fuck up with the timer again? Does he forget how Wi Fi works or happiness? We'll have to see. But for now, I'm gonna pick Melon. And I can see Melon coming on in this, but if you're on Melon's side, welcome back to the Zygarde 50% show. This week's guest is AA Run 2 for 20, where his best Zygarde check is Shelmet, everyone. Now, Aaron, your best check is Shelmet. However, something does tell me like a Rose Rate's going to be brought and doing really, really well. Now, speaking this into existence, it won't come at all, knowing Pickham's logic. Uh, Aaron's way of winning is Thunderous plus Scarf Volcanian going wild. However, I can see this happening to a very good extent, so I think Aaron does pick this game up. Now, next up here, we do have the Los Angeles Clefable, coached by Gregulator, versus the Toronto Leaf Storms, coached by Opie Jellicent and Sohan. Now, this matchup is a complete toss-up looking at the pick side of it. Now, Sohan. Manaphy plus Landers Incarnate go big for the W this week. They have to go big if you want to break the streak. And on Greg's side, Coco plus Scissor with some Volturn can destroy so on if he isn't careful about it. And your best check to Manaphy is a Quil is a Quilladin and a Seismitoad. So you need to be careful of Manaphy and Lando. So this match could either just go which Pokemon crits first. Yeah, this match is pretty much a toss-up. I don't really have a reason to pick either team. Uh, I think both of them are, are sort of in free fall or at least kind of outside the bubble of playoffs. But in terms of why I'm picking the Leaf Storms, I figure there is no possible way, no conceivable way, that Sohan goes winless this, this D-League season. So with that logic in place, fuck it. going to pick Sohan. Figure he's going to catch it up at some point. Uh, might as well be this week. Hopefully I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong, but hopefully I'm right. Who knows, maybe he finishes this season with more wins than Papa C last season. Maybe. Oof. <laughs> Next up here, we do have the Los Angeles Nido Kings versus the Texas Pokemon Rangers. We have Danza versus Randy. Now, Danza, what this game is going to come down to is Zara does some fine work this game, as Fighting Plus Electric can do a really good number to Randy's team. But the fact that Celesteela even exists kind of stops this one, unless he goes like Choice Banded to get damage off. But then again, he would be locked into an electric move to get Mammal Free Switch in. So it really is how much you can pressure the Celesteela. Tornadus plus Weavile can also put in some really solid work this game, uh, being a really good pivot and a really good breaker, respectively. Now on Randy's side of the ballgame, Celesteela is good this game, and it also really pairs nicely with Shell Smash Barbarical. Shout out to Polly. I can also see a bulky Shaman plus DD Latios putting in some mid game pressure for maybe like a Serpy Boy Slurpuff to win in late game. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Um, I think that a lot of people are picking the New Kings on this one. 
I think because the matchup is more in Dance's favor than it is in Randy's favor. Also, Randy's been coming uh, into the issue of a more stagnant building style where I think that Danza has the capability of being a little bit more varied or at least bring things that are a little bit... Um, they'll catch their opponents off guard. So in this case, things like Weavile, Mega Gallade, uh, even Silvalli can be keys to, to winning this match or even Torn T, assuming that he can you know, hit a GD Hurricane. So we have Pauly Mac locking this week and only one person picking the Rangers. I unfortunately am going to go against my gut. I'm going to pick Danza here because I think the matchup is too good. You know, taking a bit of your... Uh, what you talk about and uh, kind of looking at it from that side so with the final match we have something that's a bit interesting and I'll let you talk about your lock in just a second but we have the New York Napoleon coached by Goldoa versus the Carolina Pantherians coached by newcomer Techno in this match we can see that it's actually split uh, looks like three to four with uh, three people picking the Napoleon and four picking I'm sorry five picking the, uh, the Pantherian it's been a long day I can't count sorry three and four are difficult now, I am picking Techno for the reason being that he took Leo to a 1-0 victory on Leo's side. He played as well as I expect people like you know like Techno would have with the team, but the, the way that he explained his match and the way that he's been playing and, and even the reason for him being, being brought in is why I'm actually going to pick him. I think he's a damn good coach. We saw him in MPL Minors do really well. If you watch some of his other matches, he does a very good job, especially in the summer tournaments hosted by the uh, TTM crew. Um, we have a lot of picks on this game, mainly one by Usok and the other two by, uh, by Mio and North. but I like what I'm seeing from Techno. I think he's going to pull a W. And I completely, uh, I can see where you're coming from in that stance. He played stupid well last week against Leo, the, the best coach in the league at this moment and the coach to beat. Taking him to a 1-0 is an absolutely astounding feat for your first game in a league, coming in as a replacement. He's a very, very good battler, but when I look at this matchup, I look and I see Victini runs train through this man, along with Mega Venusaur. It, is, it is one of the best checks to Bulu, and the fact that Dougie can just trap Azumarill and give Vicavolt free switch-ins in order to click buttons, that, that just is too scary for the matchup that Techno has. Now, you played good last week, Techno. But remember last week when I said, welcome to the D-League, where you face Leo, the number one best battler, and now you get to face, in my eyes, the number two best battler for your first two matchups. Welcome to the D-League. You did impress me last week. However, my thinking in this game still remains true. Goldoa's prep and his front office and his playing has just been absolutely overall fantastic. And with the team matchup over Techno, I think he just runs away with it. Yeah, I definitely can see that. This will probably be one of the best matches of the week. Um, so I certainly believe that that's going to be the match to watch this week. Um, yeah, Sock, you can uh, you can lead us out. All right. So if you guys want to be part of the fan discord and get in on some of the picks that you guys do see on this screen, be sure to join the fan discord down below. Tell us your favorite coach and get the D League type role. That means you will be added every time a new D League video goes up, whether it's the Pick'em Crew, Tom's analyst work on the power rankings, or if it's a weekly recap, if that ever comes back or anything related to the D League. Also, be sure to comment what you think your picks this week are. And I think that's out. Later, guys. Peace.